now to the race to replace George Santos. It's a busy day for voters in parts of Queen and Queens and Nassau counties. The polls already open in the special election to elect Santos's successor. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live in Bayside. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Michelle and Pedro. Those polls opened about a half hour ago, but as you said, this is a district that spans two counties, and there are different rules when it comes to early voting, and we'll map those all out for you. The race is itself for the special election pits the Republican Mozzie Pillip. She is a Nassau County legislator against Democrat Tom Swazi, who once held that seat in the third district. He's looking to reclaim it uh, after the ouster of George Santos. Now, as for the early voting, several locations in Queens, there are four, but voters can only vote at their assigned location. In Nassau County, voters can go to any of the early voting sites. The times, they also vary uh, from day to day. They will change. Today, it's 9 to 5 in Queens, 9 to 6 in Nassau County. Back to the issue at hand, the race itself. One of the main uh, issues uh, important to the district, immigration, specifically the border crisis. And last week, Republican Mozzie Pillip was at a, re uh, at a migrant shelter. Parents telling me they are afraid to bring their children here. Why? Because just across the street in the back, a massive tent city was built to house 1,000 migrants men. Is immigration a serious issue? It absolutely is. And I've made it a serious issue, not only in my time in Congress, but before I was in Congress. And I will continue to make it a serious issue. Well, today is the deadline to register to vote if you have not registered and want to vote in this special election. The early voting period runs through February 11th, and then the actual election day is February 13th.